Hey, it's Professor S, and I'm here with my colleague, the Animal Cell, to give you a little bit of a lesson on centrosomes. And this session will definitely be under five minutes, but it's going to set up another one that's probably going to push right up against five minutes. Centrosomes are traditionally talked about as an organelle found only in animal cells. Uh, in fact, there are some plant cells and there are some fungal cells that do have centrosomes, but they're not in the majority within their respective kingdoms. Uh, let's go ahead and zoom in on this centrosome, because centrosomes are actually composed of two other organelles, or two copies of the same organelle, uh, what's called a centriole. A centriole is a vaguely cylindrical organelle, and the two centrioles in a centrosome are oriented at about a 90 degree angle to each other. The two centrioles, or rather each individual centriole, uh, they're microtubule organizing centers. M T O C, microtubule organizing center. They build microtubules. Each of these individual cylinders is a microtubule construction site, and centrosomes are composed of two of them. During mitosis and meiosis, when we're going to be separating chromosomes within the nucleus, these two centrioles within the centrosome will separate, go to opposite poles of the cell, begin building microtubules from those locations to guide the chromosomes to their separate destinations. And I'm, I'm going to stop before I go any further because that's a whole separate set of five minute videos that I haven't even begun construction on yet. Anyway, centrioles are microtubule organizing centers. Centrosomes are composed of two centrioles and centrosomes are used during mitosis and meiosis for construction of the spindle apparatus, which is made of microtubules. Now, I've described the centriole as being vaguely cylindrical. In fact, it's not quite cylindrical. Let's strip down this cartoon to its bare bone essence. And you can see they almost look star-shaped. The, the centri centriole itself is composed of microtubules. And, and in fact, I'm going to go a step further. Centrioles exist in the cell independently of the centrosome. They act as microtubule organizing centers in other capacities. So let's drop out the second and just leave one of them there. Um, and then I want to kick that one up to the top of the screen. I'll be back in just a moment so we can continue talking. Now that I have that central separated off by itself, let's take a zoomed in look at it in cross section. When we look at this cross-section, you can see, first of all, the microtubules that form the centriole are arranged in triplets, in sets of three. And there are specifically nine triplets in the centriole, and they're arranged in almost this star-like pattern toward the outer edges of our overall cylindrical shape. Now, they're bound together by other proteins, but the microtubules are the essence of this. We have microtubules in the centriole, which are then going to act to construct other microtubules. And centrioles can give rise to other types of MTOCs. For example, centrioles can give rise to what's called a basal body, which has this basic same cross-section. It's another microtubule organizing center that will be used in the construction of cilia and flagella, which are projections from cells that move. Cilia and flagella are extremely important. And, uh, and you know what? I, I think I'm done here. I think I've said what I wanted to say on centrioles and centrosomes. And, uh, I'm going to save the rest of it for another five minutes. Helping. Helping how? Oh, we'll show you. Hey, Squish, what do you get when you cross an elephant with a rhinoceros? I don't know what. Elephant, I know. Why did the scarecrow, scarecrow win an award? Ooh, I don't know why did the scarecrow win an award. Because it was outstanding in its field. Squish, why was the Avatar so depressed three years after beating the Fire Lord? I don't know. Why? Really bad teen angst. Please stop. What do you call a fake noodle? Ooh, what do you call a fake noodle? An imposter. Hey, Al, big Al. What? What's black and white and red all over? No. A newspaper? A uh, penguin with diaper rash. A skunk in a blender. Zebra with a sunburn. Just, just finish this. Oh, fine. Hey, this is Professor S. If you enjoyed that, here's a couple other videos you might like. Don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell. God.
what?